Hey everyone, I'm Ed, and I'm one of the developers with Plotter. Today we're super excited because we're bringing a brand new release to you. It has a public test for a beta feature inside of it. And in this video, we're going to go through that feature and all the cool stuff that you can do with it. So if you want to check out this beta, you'll have to start by turning it on. And we can do that from the dashboard. I've got the dashboard open here, and I'm going to click on Settings. From Settings, there's this new area called Beta. And you can see I've already got Act Structure turned on. You can turn it off and on from here. You can also give feedback to us by following this link. We have a new file open here, and the first thing that you'll notice is that the chapters are now called Scenes, and we have this new button called Structure. Now, if you click on the Structure button, you'll see this new Act Structure dialog. And it has the controls for the number of levels in the structure, and also specific controls around customizations for each of those levels. And we'll see how those work when we add some. So what happens when the number of levels increases? Well, there are two visible changes here. Firstly, we get another row in this table. And secondly, a new column was added to this timeline table. We can add a third row, and that's the maximum that we can go to. Let's take a look at what we've added here. We have acts, chapters, and scenes. So what we're encoding here is different levels of detail that you can organize your literary work into. These little arrows here indicate that a chapter is a child of an act, and a scene is a child of a chapter. But what does that mean? Let's take a look. Right now, we have Act 1, Chapter 1, and Scene 1. If we want to add another scene, we can click on the plus button to the right of that scene. If we want to add another chapter, we can click on the plus button to the right of that chapter. Now we have two chapters, we have two scenes, and we have an act that encompasses everything. What can we do with this? Well, we can collapse everything that's inside of Act 1 into a single column. It's not very visible without any scene cards, so let's add some. And I'm just going to give them simple names like 1, 2, 3, so that we can keep track of them. I'll give chapter 1 the number 1, scene 1, 2, scene 2 I'll label 3, maybe I'll put a 0 on the act card. Right, we have a number of cards in the timeline now. What happens when we collapse a chapter? All of those cards get stacked up in the column for chapter 1. So now there's a visual indication that you've collapsed a chapter, and you can also click on it to get a preview of those cards. Here we are, 1, 2, and 3. Let's expand it again. We can also collapse from an act. So here we're collapsing Act 1, and we should see all of the cards, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we collapse it there. We've got card 0, and 1, 2, and 3 are there as well. Notice that Chapter 2 was also collapsed into the act. So everything to the right of act, that is one level lower in the structure, belongs to the act. So we have Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 belong to Act 1. Scene 1 and Scene 2 belong to Chapter 1. If we want to add another column at the same level, as a column that we have anywhere in this timeline table, all we need to do is click the plus button to the right of that column. So here we're on chapter. We can add another chapter by clicking to its right. We can add another scene by clicking to the right of a scene. There we go. We have scene two in between scene one and what was scene two, but has been auto numbered to scene three. And we can add another chapter to the right of chapter two here with that button, and now we have a chapter 3. So how do we go about adding these children chapters which belong to a parent? Well, there's a new control for that. There's this arrow down and to the right here, which you'll notice says insert scene. Scenes are children of chapters. Great, we now have a scene, and if we click to the right of a scene, we get another scene. Okay, so now our timeline has been organized into one act and three chapters. 
we might want to change some details about how these different entities for organizing our literary work look. And we can do that from the structure modal. Here I have it open again. Suppose we don't really like the color red for acts. Let's choose the default blue. Now we have a blue for acts, but the border is still red. Let's get rid of the border. We can do that either by selecting no color for the border, go back to red and you see it reappears, or we can tell it that we don't want any border for that. That looks great. We can also decide that our scene cards should have a border. Let's make it look similar to how our chapters are. That border is currently blue. Let's instead make it black, like the rest of the card. We can also give these a background color. So suppose we want to give scene a color to make it stand off from the rest of the app. Let's go for a yellow to make it very apparent. That pops way too much for me, and I think I'm actually just going to get rid of it. Now my structure looks just the way I want it, and I'm going to close this dialog and return to my timeline. We can rearrange our chapters. Let's add some more cards so that it becomes more apparent where things are. I'm going to move the three back into its natural ordering, and I'm going to add cards four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, if we move chapter two onto where chapter one is, we would expect for the ordering of cards to go zero, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four. And there we go. So we've just taken chapter one and it's dragged all of its scene cards along with it to this position right next to the act. Then we have chapter two because it was bumped along. And finally, we have chapter three. If we collapse all of these, then we have a great summary of the chapters one and two. What happens if we want to change the number of hierarchy levels after we've defined them? So right now we have acts, chapters, and scenes. Suppose we're not really interested in acts. So we can subtract an act over here, but this is a dangerous operation because once an act disappears or once the concept of acts is no longer present in your app, where does card zero go? Well, it gets deleted. So let's go ahead and do that. Card zero is no longer on the timeline, but the other cards are still there. Deleting a chapter is a similarly dangerous exercise. If I delete chapter two, there would be nowhere for scenes one, two, and three in chapter two to go. So they will be deleted too. If I delete chapter two, we expect one, two, three, and four to be deleted. And we go ahead, and what was chapter two has disappeared. And if we expand all of the cards, we see that one, two, three, and four are missing from the timeline. The last thing I want to draw your attention to is that we can actually change the names of our chapters, scenes, and acts. So to do that, I'm going to open up the structure dialog, and I'm going to increase the number of hierarchy levels again so that we have acts visible. And then I'm going to change the name of chapters. Let's call these second level. And what we'll see now is that it's changed the name from chapter to second level one and second level two. Suppose our scenes are the real chapters, we can change them as well. Fantastic. Another thing that we might do is we might call our acts parts. Some large books are arranged into parts, which are essentially sub novels. And there we have it. We have changed the name to part one, second level one, chapter one, chapter two, and second level two. We can also change the text size, so let's just do that very quickly. If we don't like the fact that our second levels are very large there, we can change their font size and maybe they'll become a bit smaller. 12, that's a bit small. Let's go for 14 instead. And there we go. Now everything fits into a nice small card size and we've given all of our columns headings that we like. Thanks so much for tuning in for this update to Plotter. I hope that you find the act structure beta useful and happy plotting.